Hey what's up guys this is Wasi from flamelinevisualeffects.com and welcome back to my another brand new After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial I'll show you how to create a cinematic title animation in Adobe After Effects so let's see what we will create today. Can I get 500 likes for this tutorial? If yes, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so first create a new composition by clicking here and rename it to text. And I'm going with same 1920 1080p frame rate 29.97 and duration make it 6 seconds long then click on OK. Okay, now we are going to create our text layer so right click new and then click on text then type your text here in this tutorial I am using RBN02 font you can download this font from link in the description box below ok now make this font bold by clicking here and then select this text layer and then go to paragraph and then click on the center text icon then align it to the center Ok now right click on this layer then go to layer style then click on gradient overlay then open gradient overlay then click on edit gradient then select this first color and change it to light gray and then select the second color and choose dark gray something like this then click on ok perfect Now select this layer and then go to effect and preset window and search for decrease tracking then select this effect and apply onto this layer. Ok now select this layer and then press U to open keyframe then select the last keyframe and drag it last of this composition then decrease the tracking amount maybe 36 and then go to end of this animation and then change the tracking amount. 16 looks good now you can see a nice smooth animation okay now select this text and make it a bit bigger something like this then make it center okay now select this layer and then press ctrl plus D to duplicate this layer then double click on it and then change the text I type in Taylor then adjust the position and then select all text and then remove the bold effect by clicking here and make it smaller a little bit also increase the tracking amount something like this now it's look good to me perfect Ok let's create another composition by clicking here and rename it to main then click on ok. Ok now import our project files you can download these project files from link in the description box below. Ok now go to timeline and then right click and then new and then click on solid and I am going with medium gray blue color and rename it to BG then click on OK ok now go to project window and select our smoke file and drag it into this timeline and then change the mode to overlay looks good to me 
Again go to project window and select our text composition and put it above the smoke layer. And then make this layer 3D by clicking here. Okay now we are going to create adjustment layer so right click new and then click on adjustment layer. Then select this layer and then go to effect and preset window and search for curves. Then select this effect and apply onto this adjustment layer. Then change the RGB curves to something like this. Looks good to me. Then again go to effect and preset window and search for tint. Then select this effect and apply onto this layer. And then amount to tint set it 40%. Then again go to effect and preset window and search for photo filter. Then select this effect and apply onto this layer. Filter set it blue. Density set it 50%. Looks good to me. Then go to project window and select lens flare layer and drag it into this timeline and then change the layer mode to add and then adjust the position and make this layer 3d by clicking here ok now select this particle layer and drag it into this timeline then again change the layer mode to add Perfect. Okay, let's run PVV it. Okay, now we are going to create a solid layer. So right click new and then click on solid and color set it black and rename it to vintage. Then click on OK. Then select this layer and then go to toolbar and select ellipse tool then double click on it then change the max path position something like this and then change the max mode to subtract then press f to open max feather and increase the max feather amount to maybe 250 then select this layer and press t to open opacity and opacity set it 75 percent looks good to me Ok now we are creating a null object so right click new and then click on null object make this null object 3d by clicking here then select this text and lens flare layer and then parent it to null 1 then select this null 1 layer then go to beginning of this animation then press p to open position and then z amount set it minus 1000 then set a keyframe on position then go forward 10 frames and then Z amount set it 0. Then select these two keyframe and make them easy ease. Then open graph editor and then change the curve curve to something like this. Perfect. Ok now select this text layer and then turn on motion blur of this layer also turn on motion blur of this lens flare layer and don't forget to turn on this big motion blur icon. Ok let's run PVV it. Ok now go to project window and select our whips layer. I downloaded this file from productioncrate.com then put it below the text layer and then press S to open scale and make it a little bit smaller and then adjust the position something like this looks good to me
Okay, now select this layer and then press Ctrl plus D to duplicate this layer, then right click on it, then go to transform and then click on flip horizontal, then drag it left of this composition, looks good to me. Adjust the position a little bit. Okay, now we are going to create a black solid layer. So right click new and then click on solid. And make it black and rename it to flimber. Then click on OK. Then select this layer and then go to toolbar and select rectangle tool and double click on it. Then double click on this max path. Then hold down alt and control and drag. Then change the max mode to subtract or you can click on invert. Okay, let's run view it. This look good to me. Okay, now we are going to create a new adjustment layer. So right click new and then click on adjustment layer. Then select this layer and put it below the flimber layer. Then go to effect and preset window and search for sharpen. Then select this effect and apply onto this adjustment layer. And sharpen amount set it 20. Then again go to effect and preset window and search for noise. Then select this noise effect and apply onto this adjustment layer and amount of noise set it 5%. Perfect. Our animation is complete. Press 0 to ramp view this. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Have a great day.